What up, everybody? It's the Cord Room. Yes, Back in the building once again. Happy to see y'all, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. I, 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 I love, like, I love podcasting. Y'all, y'all don't understand, man. Like, podcasting is my thing, man. So I, I love doing it. Shout out to all the accordions out there liking, subscribing, buying merch. You know what I'm saying? Buying up the whole store. I just merch. buy it up. Just buying up the whole store. Shout out to y'all getting it in, getting yeah, that merch. Support, support, support. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we, we we doing we doing it, we doing it, we doing it. Yeah. So listen, let's talk about the game, man. Is it a game? To the game, it ain't a game. <laughs> Cause he ain't playing. That. You know what I'm saying? He, he got he got he he getting he got a little spicy with with a couple of people. We want to talk about that. We also just talk about a couple of things about his album. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll get into a few things, man. But he definitely, he definitely says it ain't a game. So first of all, happy birthday to the documentary about the game. Mm. It just turned 17 years old. Interesting, interesting. You know what I'm saying, like, uh, you know, it just, it just turned 17 years old. Look, look at, look at, look at, look at the, look at the young game, man. Yeah. Look at you the young tell, game. You can tell, you know, he was a little bit younger then, definitely. Yeah, man. Definitely. He, he, he looked like a different person. Yes. Like yeah. a different person, man. So, is this a classic album? Hmm. What's your take on it, Tino? You know, I think that I, I really think that this is a classic album, man. I really do. I, the, the, you know, um, it, it, it's it's crazy that the game. You know, he he came out of nowhere. He one of those artists, you know, certain it's certain artists that come out of nowhere. Um he, you know, according to him, he had just he, he literally learned how to rap rap within a year. Yeah. Uh but I really I really I'm really leaning to calling this a classic. I mean, it had a, a lot of great production on there, a lot of Dr. Dre mixing. And <laughs> you know, it it was it was man, he he you know, Dre put that sauce on it. So, and, you so know, that's all, he, that's all he did. I mean, I, I you know, <laughs> that's what I, that's all I remember seeing on 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 the credits. Let, let's let's take let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what the what the what the credits for that let's, album. Let's shout. Let's, let's, let's shout. You know, let's matter of fact, please let's let's let's, let's let's first let's put this up here. <laughs> this is the track listing. That's the track for, listing. The classic track listing. I remember that when I first so, got that album. Definitely. definitely so this definitely. is. Uh, this is the track listing of of this album. So let's pull up the credits for this album. See Good. the production of let's, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the producers mm. of this of this album. So intro produced by Shea Vicious and mm. Dr. Dre. Mm. Uh, West Side Story. Produced by Scott Storch and Dr. Dre. Mm. Uh, let's see. You got you got. Uh, shout, shout, shout out to Mike Elizondo on 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 the bass on that joint. Always, you know, he he always, always in the mix with the Dr. Dre. So I don't know why always. he always is. And yeah, we, know, we uh, know Mike. We know Mike is definitely a dope, 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 dope producer. Right. Dope producer. Uh, dreams. We know who do who did dreams. Kanye West, always. Kanye West did that. Dreams, and we'll talk about Kanye and, and Game in a minute. Um, hated to love it. Cool, cool and Dre, cool and Dre. Uh, uh, you uh, forgot one more. No, just cool. You forgot one more. Who? Dr. Dre is listed on no. there. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, Listen. he is. I'm looking right Dr. at Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is not listening to here as a producer. He is really Dream? Dude, of Dream. No, 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 we talking about Hater or Love It. Oh, my bad, my bad. Hater or Love It. No. Dreams? Then you no. Hater or Love It. No, cool. cool. To, I only see Cool on here as a producer. Cool and Dre no and Dr. Dre. I see, I see Dr. Dre mixed it. Dr. Dre is a listener as a producer. Listen, I'm, I'm just telling you what I see. I'm just telling you what I see. Uh, and let me, hold, let, me bring it, let me let me bring this down for a little bit. Let me bring this down for a little bit. Look 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 at this. Look at this. This is what I see. 
I don't know Tino. anything. About. I'm looking at. I'm, 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 looking I'm at, telling. I'm, looking I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going by title. You see that? You see that? That says cool. I don't know if y'all can see the blurriness. I understand it might be a little blurry. That's cool. <laughs> Producer, cool. It don't say nothing about Dr. Dre. It says cool and Dre and Dr. Dre. No, it's not. Let's move on. Because because you mad because because the title's telling the truth right now. Oh Moving goodness. on. <laughs> higher, higher. Produced higher, by Mark Bat uh, Batson. Batson. And Dr. Dre. Okay, you got that one right. How we do? Uh, Mike Elizondo okay. and Dr. Dre. Okay, okay. Don't need your love, Havoc and Dr. Dre. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Just Blaze for Church for Thugs. Church for Thugs. Put you, put you on game. Timbaland. Yeah. Uh. They Danger, hand, Danger hands, yeah, uh, Danger, Danger hands and Timbaland. Yeah, that's when they had they uh they, they collab going on. Cause you know that you know they um they just definitely uh known for uh helping to bring sexy back for Justin Timberlake along with Timbaland. Okay. Yeah. Got Scott Storch and Dr. Dre from scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, Jeff, I think it's pronounced Bashir. Bashir. Ba- yeah. ba- 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 Basker. I forget. Um, I and Bashir. Jeff Reed. Yeah, because he's he's a that's he's, gear. he's known as being a, a collaborating producer with, with Kanye on a lot of stuff. Gotcha. Running high tech. Oh, they that's got a high jam. tech beat on here, bro. That's my jam. That is my jam. Uh no more uh, no more oh, that's my joint. Uh no more fun and games. Definitely. Dot just blaze. Yep, yep, yep. We ain't uh Eminem and Lewis uh Resto, like Resto, yeah. Where I'm from, Focus. Uh, they, uh, this producer Focus, Focus. Is dope. Focus is dope. He's a dope. Uh, oh, Needles got a Needles beat on here. Yeah, special dope, by Needles. Uh, Don't worry by Mike Elizondo and Dr. Dre. Mm-hmm. Uh, and last one is Like Father, Like Son. That's Buck Wow. I got a Buck Wow beat on here. Okay, yes, sir. Running. Yeah. Running. Yeah. yeah so man. what's your favorite song on this album? My favorite song? Man, hands down, my f- shoot. I have a, I have definitely a few a few favorite songs on this on this album, but my personal 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 favorite is I love high techs uh running because the reason why I like running so much is it reminded me of that classic West Coast vibe. Mm. It reminded me of that, and it, it put me in place of like a like 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 an NWA type. Feel. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can, so I can it, it just it really reminded me of that real classic vibe, and it took me back even to the to the vibe of like you know like the days of the first Chronic with that with mm. that track. It felt like it belo- it was like a, a track that belonged on there. Mm. That's why I liked it. And I take came from Cali, is he? Nah, I take it's from Cincinnati. So the the fact like you know because I know definitely heard high tech stuff man especially working with Talib Kweli mm-hmm. and to me I just love the fact that he he changed up his style to match games and when you do stuff like that to me that's always a sign of a, a really dope and talented producer right you, you blend your you blend your style where you got like you don't have a, a particular style to match it, it so you're able to work with any producer that's one of the reasons right. why I, I shout out like you know my favorite producers jimmy jam and terry lewis so much because their style they did that they, they have done that and they can still continue to do that through their whole career where it's like their style is whatever the style of the artist is and it's like for every single album like they're known for they're known for doing all of Janet's stuff most of her albums and every album sounded different and that was them behind it they didn't have no quote unquote signature style right so when you're able to do that as a producer you you know that's that's that that's that talent to, to me so that was my yeah. favorite but I got but like I said I got others on there man it's like that album was I, I give it as, as a uh, I give it the mark of a uh, of a, of a classic too yeah definitely I mean I like I, I definitely the love uh, Dreams is my joint 
Dreams is definitely Dreams. Dreams was my joint when I first heard it. Like when Man, I them first drums, them drums in there. Yeah, that I don't know. Yeah, we yeah you got them drums. Some drums in the back. It, it's that was crazy. And the samples, know, it's ridiculous. Besides how we do, um, that was like my. That was going into uh, into documentary that I, that I that that I identify with, and that's that's what pushed me to want to get to listen to the album more. That pushed mm-hmm. me more to listen to listen to want to listen to it. Besides how we do, like I like how we do, but dreams cemented it to me. Like I gotta listen to this album, so definitely. Yeah, I thought that dreams, dreams, dreams is, is the joint, and that's my have it. Yeah, Havoc, Havoc, yeah. another one of those, one of those nice producers. Another, so another one, definitely another one too. That one. Speaking of speaking about Yay and Game, yeah. So they got a new joint out. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Produced by Hit Boy, uh, Cass Jones, Big Duke. And did I say Hit Boy? Yeah, you said Hit Boy. Mike Dean. Mike Dean, yeah. That's what I say. Um, we listened to the song. What you think about it? Um, it was dope, man. It was dope. Uh, another another one. Uh, another notch, especially like in Hit Boy and Mike Dean's and uh, belt. The, uh, it it took me back, you know, loving the sample and everything. That, that's that's that easy e sample, right? Yeah, it's easy e sample. Easy e sample. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm used to, I'm used to, and maybe this is just a warm up. So I do, I like the song, but I'm used yeah. to the game coming out a little bit harder with some energy. Yeah, like yeah, with some yeah, more yeah. energy. Uh, but he he's grown, he's he's a grown, he's growing up. You know, maybe yeah. you know he's, but he still keeps it, he still keeps it, you know, real classic game. That's what I like about him. Definitely. Um. You know, but you know, um, obviously. Well, first of all, the song "Easy" is his first, his highest charted album since um, the song that him, him and uh, this guy, Little Wayne, had together. Um, they had a song called "My Life," and that was a that was the highest charted album he had on Billboard since this one. Now, it might have a lot to do with the fact that Kanye's on it. It might have a lot to do with the fact that he had the that that monkey. I don't know that that. Which I was about to ask you, man. You showed you showed the picture of the song. Why you didn't show nah, the picture? Nah, we ain't the- doing. That's <laughs> now nah, that's the alternate album cover. That's the alternate one. We ain't we ain't doing that skinned up monkey. I just look crazy. I feel you. I feel you. I, so I, I agree with you. It just something doesn't something it doesn't look right man so, yeah, that's crazy right man so, that's crazy not 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 I, i'm not feeling that energy like that man so. yeah i mean you know yeah yeah i'm sure i think yay might have had to had to put him up to that so of course you know I mean, but now. so earlier i mentioned that the game was a little upset you know um he, he, like i say game don't think it's a game with him <laughs> so First of all, this just FYI, okay. the song Easy is off of his new album called Drillmatic. Yeah. It's produced by it's produced by Hit Boy. Hit Boy. Hit Boy. Yes. All all of those songs. So he the whole so Hit Boy does the whole album. Oh, he's gonna do the whole album? He's doing the whole album. Shout out to Hit Boy, the producer of the last, the best producer in the last Hit two Boy's years. Been, he's, he's, on, he's on fire. Yeah, man. So he's going to do the whole album for for game. 